It's the weekend. Welcome to the Weather Network. We begin our story with a look at the tropics. We're watching a few tropical waves, but it's this wave just off the west coast of Africa that has a 70% chance of developing into a tropical system within the next five days. It's moving into an area where there's not a lot of shear and wind shear is what works to shed those storms or rip them apart. It's all about the heat in the east this weekend. It is still ramping up with that area of high pressure off the coast. So that's steering a lot of that southerly moisture uh, into the region. And by the time we get to the end of the weekend for the northeast, things will cool down. But for the south, the heat remains in place with temperatures in the 90s still above seasonal. What's cooling things down in the northeast is this area of low pressure. It's really going to affect the Midwest and into uh, the northeast Saturday. We could be dealing with some severe weather as well into Sunday. The risk really does diminish. Uh, but here's a look at the SBC convective outlook. You can see we have that slight chance extending into upstate New York of those severe thunderstorms and then things really calm down for Sunday. But along the Gulf Coast, still dealing with the risk of thunderstorms. For the upper Midwest, the upper plains, that is where things are really taking a cool down this weekend, especially when we talk about those overnight lows. Things are going to be pretty chilly. Uh, for the West as well, Washington, Oregon, you're getting into a cool down by the end of the weekend. So enjoy your warmth to start off the weekend because as I mentioned, things are going to change. Saturday, Seattle at 72 and it is still hot and dry in Los Angeles and California, not helping firefighters.